Namaste everyone. Thank you very much first of all for uh, checking out this video. So in this video I'm going to talk about a machine learning project and it's the I think uh, fifth or sixth project which I am putting on my YouTube channel which is related to machine learning. So with the help of this project you will be able to uh, you know detect whether a particular mail uh, is a spam or not. Right so I have some data I, which I have collected uh, from Kaggle over here in the form of a CSV file. So here we have two labels, ham and spam, right? And there are two uh, fields present in the CSV file, one with name category and the other with name message. So you can see here, uh, everything is present in the form of uh, alphabets, right? Uh, it's uh, an alphanumeric things uh, which you can see here in this file now uh, machine cannot understand these codes right machine cannot understand English language so in this machine language uh, machine learning project we will check how can we convert it into uh, numerical things right I uh, will check how can we convert this data into numbers and after that how can we use this data for training and testing a machine right and uh, before i dive into the platform let me tell you uh, for this machine learning project i'll be using logistic regression okay so the first thing we need to do here is we need to import all the libraries we need for this project so these are the libraries numpy pandas then uh, this is a function which uh, we'll be using for splitting the data in two parts training and testing set then T tfid vectorizer present in the feature extraction text of sklearn uh, will be used for converting the data into num numbers right text data into numerical form then that's the model we'll be using for this and accuracy score as you guys know very well it's the function with which we'll be checking the accuracy of our model so let's run this uh, code and okay so the code got executed successfully let's create another coding cell and let me tell you that i've already imported the csv file over here it's with name mail underscore data dot csv coming back to the uh, coding section let's come down and here i'm going to you know copy this entire thing so this will with the help of pandas, uh, let's read the content which is present in the CSV file named mail underscore data dot CSV. So I'm running the code. Let's see what will happen. Okay, so the code got executed successfully. And now all the data which is there in the CSV file uh, is right now in this variable named raw underscore mail underscore data. Uh, it's time to come down and let's see what do we have in the variable raw underscore mail underscore data so you guys know very well that the data which is there in the csv file it's uh, in the textual form so right now all the categories the messages which are there in the csv file are present in the form of an array in this variable named raw underscore mail underscore data right uh, let us come down and see what uh, do we have next okay so if there are some null values and you want to replace them with uh, you know an empty string so that's the you know code you can use for doing the same I hope you guys are uh, you know aware about this thing that if there is some null data then we need to get rid of that null data and that's one of the ways we can uh, do it so what is happening here we are finding out the null values and then we are replacing it with empty strings okay so let's execute this code and see what will happen okay so the code got executed successfully now if there is any null value uh, it will there uh, so that it has been replaced by empty string let's now check the first five rows so that's the uh, you know that's the function using which we can do it easily head right and here i go so that's what we have in the first five rows of the 
data that we have stored in the in the variable named in the variable named draw underscore mail underscore data so now okay so coming back to the coding section let's come down and see what do we have next okay so with the help of this so we can check the shape of our data so let's come down right now we have everything in this uh, variable named mail underscore data it's time to check the shape of the data we have in this variable okay so it has a uh, 5572 rows and there are two columns one with name uh, message and the other with name category right you remember i uh, showed you this database in the beginning okay let's create another coding cell and it's time for us to now uh, you know replace the categories names with numbers so for spam we will use zero and for ham we will use one right so if it's an authentic source from which the mail has come so for that we'll be using ham and uh, for ham for representing ham we will use one okay we'll be using one and for spam mails we'll be using zero so that's the way we can convert the text based uh, categories into numeric categories done with executing the code let's create another coding cell coming down it's time for us to check uh, sorry it's time to for us to separate the data as text and labels so in x i will be putting i would like to put all the messages and in y i would like to put all the categories here we are not splitting the data we are just bifurcating it in such a way that we can get all the text messages in one particular memory location and all the categories uh, right zero and which are in the form of zero and one right now uh, can be uh, stored at one particular memory location so that's the way we can do it okay done with executing both the lines of code it's time for us to just come down and see uh, what do we have in x and y so let's create a coding cell first print sorry i am yeah perfectly fine so i would like to see what do we have in variable x and y okay so in x we have all the messages as you can see and in y i have all the uh, what you call it categories right spam and ham so for uh, the ones which you are seeing over here they are representing authentic mails ham hams and the zeros here are representing uh, spam okay let's create another coding cell it's time for us to just come down and let's now split the data into two categories right so we'll be using the same code which we used in the previous three to four lectures so x train is going to have uh, the training data y train is also going to have the training data but the difference is in x train we'll be having the messages part and in y train we'll be having the categories absolutely right uh, likewise in x test and y test we'll be having the testing data but in y test we'll be having the uh, you know categories with which we'll be testing the machine and in x test we'll be having the messages so let's run this code and we have successfully bifurcated the data into two different parts it's time for us to just see the shapes of these three variables that is x x train and x test so for doing that it's very easy we can uh, create a coding cell and then we can simply run this code okay so there were there are 5572 rows as i uh, have already showed you earlier and now out of this 5572 10 percent of the rows have been assigned to x test right and the remaining are uh, have been assigned to x free right let's create a coding cell again and coming back to this code coming down it's time for us to now transform the text data 
to feature vectors that can be used as input to the logistic regression. Okay, so let me just uh, tell you about this code. It's actually very important. It's the base of this machine learning project. So what are we doing here? We are checking for the stop words and we are converting everything into lowercase and then that's the function TFID vectorizer which will help us in converting the textual data into numerical data. Okay, so feature extraction is uh, the variable I have used here and inside it we have this thing. Okay, now we have applied this feature extraction on x train and x test right so that's what we have done here whatever we have in x uh, i've already told you that in, that in x train and x test we have messages right in both these variables we have messages uh, which are present in textual form so we are uh, through this function converting the textual data into numerical data coming down uh, over here what we are doing we are changing the data which is present in y train and y test also into integer values right so let's execute this code okay the code got successfully executed now it's time for us to check the things we have in the variable named x train so you know what we are doing here we are actually following all the steps uh, of ai project cycle i hope you guys know about it so problem scoping is the first stage then we then uh, we have uh, your data acquisition data exploration modeling then evaluation so right now we are we are we have already bifurcated the data into two parts training set and testing set we are going to now train the model through training data so what do we have in x train okay uh, we have a, uh, these messages here I think I need to check the data in X train features, not X train actually, because the numerical data is here in this variable, right? So let's print the things. Let, let's see what do we have in this variable named X train features. Okay, so we have some numbers here. So you can see, you know, we have successfully converted all the textual data into numerical data using TFID vectorizer. So it's very simple. You don't have to do it manually. Everything will be done by the functions uh, uh, of the libraries you have imported. It's time for us to create another coding cell coming back. And uh, so we have successfully converted everything into integer form now it's time for us to load the model so as i've told you in the beginning we'll be using logistic regression for this machine learning project we have successfully loaded the uh, model it's time for us to train it with the help of the training data so the training data is present in x train features and y train so let's train the model we have successfully trained the model it's time for us to evaluate the model uh, on the basis of the training data right so we are going to evaluate the model based on the data with which we have trained it let's see what it will give us a, as an output i've already told you about this these functions which uh, I've, i'm using here in the previous lectures also of machine learning if you haven't seen those lectures, I request you to please go and check out those lectures. Definitely it will, uh, you know, those lectures will give you a good insight of machine learning. So I've successfully executed the code. Uh, okay, so the code got successfully executed. It's time for us to check the accuracy of the model for the training set. So the accuracy is 96%. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Now let's uh, test the model using the testing data. So this is the data which the machine doesn't know anything about. Okay. So let's test the machine based on this testing data. Okay. This Google Colab successfully executed the code for us. It's time to check the accuracy of the model. So using this line of code, okay, for the testing data also, it's giving us 96% accuracy. 
So I think it's a very good model that we have created finally. Now if you want me to just check out whether the model is perfectly fine or not, so we can do it like this. So what I'm, I'm doing here, I have written a message here, right, and it's there in this variable named input underscore mean. Now this message will be first converted into integer form, right. And then uh, we are giving this uh, data to the machine to predict for us the output. Okay, then we are uh, printing the prediction. If the machine will predict zero, right, sorry, uh, if the machine predicts uh, one, so it means it's a ham mail. Otherwise, it's a spam. Okay, let's see what we'll get as the final output. Okay. So it's a ham mail means it's not a spam, right? So our uh, product is ready. Our code, the model is working perfectly fine. It's ready to be deployed in the environment for which we have created it. So that is how, you know, you can uh, create spam filtering project, spam filtering, uh, you know, machine with the help of these codes over here, which I just showed you in this lecture. If you want to learn machine learning, if you want to really become a machine learning engineer or a data science engineer, you can get in touch with me on uh, my number that is 9891665634. Definitely the coding classes which I will provide you is going to give you a lot, a lot of things, right? Besides that, you will be provided with certificates also and definitely you will take away many many things from my course so this is it from my side in this lecture i hope you guys enjoyed it a lot do not forget to like and share the video in your groups uh, so as to make it preachable to the maximum maximum students possible thank you so very much for being there with me have a great great day ahead bye bye and take care everyone